priorities. Hello everyone, I've just knocked my coffee over. <laughs> These sleeves are so big that I'm like, oh, knocking everything over. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So in today's video, I'm actually really excited. I was gonna film a March favorite, and then I thought actually, with everything that's going on at the moment, I could film a beauty haul related to quarantine. <laughs> So I know my channel, I want it to be an escape, but I also want to help you out in any way. This might not help you out, but I hope it does. I know it is a touchy subject, but I wanted to share with you guys beauty products that make me feel really good, positive, motivated on a daily basis, and hopefully they help you guys out in any way. I'm not saying you need to buy every single one of these products, but I just hope this video gives you some sort of inspiration at the moment in the uk we are self-isolating we have been told to stay at home which we are doing i mean i have seen some people like their instagram stories and they're out and about all the time and i'm like what are you doing stay at home but i know sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle i feel like this is a bit of a roller coaster some days it's fine some days it's a bit harder and these are just some beauty products that help me through the harder days and just make me feel a little bit more motivated and have that extra self-care and pamper. It's important at this sort of time to not lose yourself and get in a bit of a funk. I know it is so much easier said than done, but I hope that this video helps you out in some sort of way. I hope so. But yeah, if you want to see the beauty products that help me make me feel a bit more positive, motivated and just have that extra bit of self-care love, then please keep watching. Okay, so I feel like it's kind of obvious that I was gonna include this into the haul. This is the Garnier Moisture Bomb Sheet Mask. I have these in all of the different scents. Would you say scents? It's not flavours. Scents? I always don't know what term it is to describe that. Is it scent? Let me know in the comments down below what word I'm thinking of. I literally, I feel like I've got a brain funk. The amount of times I've had to refilm this intro is a joke because I just, I just, I don't know. I can't get my words out. But anyway, the pink one is definitely my favourite. I don't know if it's because it's pink. I don't know. They're basically all exactly the same. And I love using sheet masks mainly because it just gives me that extra self-care and pamper on days where, I don't know, I might have had a harder day or I want to have a whole full day pamper. I want to film that video where I literally do a full day of pampering because I feel like that would be so much fun and I feel like you guys would really enjoy that. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that. I always put these in the fridge and... The reason I wanted to share this is because it literally, if I've had a long day, because I'm obviously still working, I work from home anyway, so this hasn't really changed my work. So sometimes when I've had a hard day at work and I've had my shower or bath and then I sit on my bed and then I put a sheet mask on, it just makes me feel so so good and I just can't describe it like I literally love it so much I use these about three times a week I'm not even exaggerating I love them so much I've had to cut down because I don't want to bulk buy I never I, I feel like I never bulk buy products I just get obsessed with them and then I'm like oh I really want this one I want this one and then yeah but with everything going at the moment I'm not bulk buying I'm using them in consideration so yeah but if you haven't tried these honestly try them they make you feel so good and I thought I'd also mention this whenever I put my sheet mask on I use this roller over the top and it is honestly so relaxing it'd be more relaxing if you got someone else to do it but I've literally begged Bradley to do this for me so many times and he's just like no this is not happening <laughs> so I have to do this myself but it is still really relaxing and you should read up about these like with the different crystals you can get I've also got a pink one which is the court is it the rose Cortez is that how you say it I'm really bad with names like that um, and it's just so relaxing on your skin it really gets the serum into your skin I don't know about you but at the moment my skin has been so dry because I've just been taking so many showers washing my hands so many more times than I usually would that I've literally been bleeding because it's so sore so getting that extra moisture into my skin is a must i feel like i've rambled on about that face mask but i love it just quickly another product i like to use with the face mask are these elemis under eye masks i actually put these on underneath and then put the sheet mask over the top but yeah any sort of eye mask as well just makes you feel so i don't know i don't even it's more just like fresh is that the right word i just feel so good after i've used it and like oh like happy 
So these are really good. I'm aware that Elemis is more of a pricey brand. I use a lot of Elemis products, but they work wonders. Or you could just buy affordable under eye masks as well. The next product that makes me feel so good and luxury, and every single time I use it, I just feel so positive. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm sure you've seen this all over the internet. It is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. I know Primark do balms. Obviously, they're not open at the moment, but I've actually used that one, and it's good, but it's just a little bit oily. This is definitely the best balm I've used. This is probably my fourth one I've had of this. I've used the original one, but the rose one is just the best. And it's so lovely on your skin. It's really important to still take care of your skin and your body and yourself during this time. Um, and this is a product that I literally can't live without. Like, I love it so much. I use it every morning and every evening. It just melts your makeup off in the evening. So it's really good in that sense. It just melts everything off and it's just like, oh, your skin feels so good, so fresh. I know it's just quite a simple thing to mention but I feel like skincare is so important and this is like a must-have product if I could say anything in my skincare that you need to try it is this like it's just it's beautiful it's beautiful I love it so yeah this pro collagen rose cleansing balm is just the balm I am gonna do my skincare routine I think in the next video or the one after I'm not sure yet um so I'll give you guys sneak peeks in this video but again these are two products that make me feel so good about myself and my skin the Foreo Luna 3 I'm not even joking has literally cleared my skin up I'm not working with them I saw loads of influencers using their product I actually got one myself and it's just incredible like it's cleared my skin up it's so good the battery lasts ages it doesn't go all funny my old cleanser used to smell after a while it's so weird but using this honestly it's having that little bit of pamper in the morning and it's a device that actually pulsates and then this side is really relaxing i sometimes put oil on it and put it on my skin and it just calms you down like it's so good so i use these two together and they work wonders this is the elemis rehydrating rose petal cleanser this has lasted me so long like literally so long um and yeah both of these together work an absolute dream i feel like skincare is so easy just to get out of the routine but it's a thing that personally for me i don't know if it's anyone else but it makes me feel so good every single time i do it and then if there's a night that i miss my skincare i feel really weird and i'm like oh i don't like it so yeah don't forget to do your skincare the next product i wanted to talk to you guys about is hand cream this is one from the white company you can literally pick up any hand cream or moisturizer of your choice i don't know about you but at the moment my skin is so dry it's ridiculous and i pop hand cream on and it literally absorbs 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 it within seconds so yeah i personally think hand cream is a must have at the moment because of how much we're moisturizing not moisturizing washing our hands hand sanitizing our hands everything like that it's just quite a lot so it's nice to have that extra luxury in the mornings or throughout the day actually i use this a lot just to help keep the moisture in and not make your hands bleed like i done because it's painful <laughs> so yeah i'm just trying to keep on top of my hand cream and this one's really good it's the seychelles from the white company and it smells so good like it's so nice but um i'm aware the white company isn't the most affordable brand so any hand cream or moisturizer will do the job too the next thing i wanted to mention is shower gel this is one from the white company i've actually gone through another one of these so i thought i'd show you guys the new one because the old one is literally just all over the place my favorites are this one and also the dove um i don't know what it's called it's just in one of the like triangle bottles <laughs> I have no idea what it's called but they're my two go-to when I have a bath or a shower and it's that extra luxury that you have onto your skin and it just makes you feel really good it's kind of an obvious one but sometimes I feel like when you have really sort of naff body washes it can sometimes make you feel a bit like oh but personally for me even the dub one I literally love so much and it just makes me feel so luxury and moisturized even when I'm in the shower and I smell so good after and I just I feel good after it so yeah this and the dub one are just 
a must have when you're out of the shower like i was mentioning my skin is so dry at the moment body creams are literally my go-to at the moment so i use these two which are my ultimate favorite so this is the soap and glory one um i don't even i think soap and glory just has one scent i'm not sure honestly it smells so good i literally i tend to go for the soap and glory one more but on days where i don't know i'm feeling a little bit more bougie i'll go for my joe malone one this is in the scent mimosa and cardamom as you can see i've gone through a lot of this this smells really good but i would say the soap and glory i, th I feel like this soap and glory scent is more fitting for this time of year and i don't know i feel like a little goes a long way with this as well so i literally love it i smother my body in this after i've had a shower and it just makes me feel really good and moisturized and i'm keeping on top of all my skincare and my body and everything like that so that is a tip in my sort of daily routine that i don't miss the next product I want to talk to you guys about is Night Cream. I'm aware Elemis, like I said, is a pricey brand, but this is the skincare brand that I use the most, and it's just incredible. Um, hopefully, this just gives you a little bit more inspiration. I'm not saying you have to get this exact product, but a product similar to this will help. So as I'm getting older, I have to use creams that are a little bit more anti-aging just to prevent it from when I do get older. I feel like when you're older, you're like, oh my God, I need to use anti-aging products. But the younger you use it, the more it prevents that, if that makes sense. That's what my mum always told me anyway. So this is an overnight matrix. And I put this on before I go to bed and it's like a really lovely luxury moisturizer. And it just makes my skin feel so good. It actually feels like it tightens it in a moisturising way. I don't really know how to explain it. But this is a bit of luxury I have to use every single night without fail. And it just helps me so much. I feel like I get a better sleep when I put it on and I just feel so good. The nights where I don't put this on are the nights where I fake tan my face. And I literally... I notice such a difference in my skin. It's not as firm and it's not as moisturized or hydrated after it. So yeah, this is honestly so good. You should read up about Elemis products because they, I personally feel like they're so worth each and every penny. They are so good. The next product I wanted to show with you guys is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. So I don't know if you guys have heard about this product, but it is honestly a must have in your beauty routine. This is so good. You can use it for so many different purposes. I mainly use it for lip balm, but I sometimes use it on my knuckles where they're so dry and they're cracked and it actually heals it. Like it's just, it's like a magic balm cream is just incredible. It looks like this, so it's like got a pinky. Okay, my battery just cut off, but it looks like this and it looks it's, it's more like a lip balm color it doesn't have an actual tint but there's so many uses you can use for this and honestly this lasts so long if you watch my makeup tutorial you guys tutorial tutorials you guys will know i actually use the lip balm version of it all the time and i've completely finished it like it's so good it is so moisturizing it's hydrating there's so many purposes you can use for it and my lips haven't felt so good since i've used this like it's literally changed it so yeah this is just like literally incredible such a good product so on days where you need that extra me time and you want to have a little bit more of a pamper i personally think hair masks are incredible because until you use them properly you don't realize how beneficial they are i like to put hair masks in dry hair pop it up in a bun, leave it for a while, then go in the shower, shampoo and condition it out. And my hair is so soft. My favorite one, and I've only used this once before, but I can't even begin to tell you how much it's changed my hair. This isn't sponsored or anything. Um, so this is the Lee Stafford Keep It Clean Pink, it's with pink clay, and it's their replenishing mask. First of all, it smells like a dream. And secondly, I can't even begin to tell you how much this has improved my hair and also how great I felt afterwards. My hair has never felt so good. Like honestly, it literally, I feel like it's changed my hair. Like the condition of it, is just incredible and it makes it so soft and silky but i've still got that bit of texture to it so yeah i honestly this product is just a must have and it's really good to use on days where you want to have a little bit of a pamper day you all want them they're all good to have and yeah you feel 
personally I felt great after using this and my hair smelled so good so I highly recommend even if it's not this one but using a hair mask on the days where you do want to have a little bit of a pump on the days where you do want to have a little bit of a pumper it's just perfect another thing i wanted to talk to you guys about is just hair i personally feel like doing my hair and makeup on a day-to-day -day basis actually really motivates me i know i do work from home and i film so i do have to get doled up quite a lot and i love it but even on days where i have my admin days where i need to go on my laptop all day i need to edit i need to do things like that and i'm not even in front of the camera i try my absolute hardest to get up I always go for my jog in the morning with Bradley our one exercise a day so we go for our run and then I'll come home shower get ready and then I am all ready for my day and it's literally the most ideal thing I personally feel like when you are in self-isolation isolation <laughs> self-isolation you do get out of a routine and i know not everyone works from home and this is a shock to the system but having a routine will honestly change your outlook on how you feel you'll feel more positive motivated and i really really do hope it helps you obviously you have to listen to your body and days where you just don't want to get out of bed or you want to sit on the sofa all day or do whatever that is obviously absolutely fine but on days where you think actually i can do this so my camera just cut off again <laughs> it's literally like being like just don't film today don't film but i was basically saying on days where you feel like you can go for it you're a bit bored and you're just like oh, i don't know what to do try doing a routine try getting up getting ready doing your exercise and it will honestly make you feel better it makes me feel so much better I miss going out, I miss seeing my friends and my family, but it's just something we have to do at the moment. It's not gonna last forever, but while it is about, we do need to learn how to deal with it, and hopefully I can sort of help you in some sort of way. Another product, this isn't actually a beauty product, but I really wanted to mention it because I feel like it is really important still, I'm out of my phone. But I feel like it is really important. So me and Bradley were into the gym. We went every single day, well, Monday to Friday at 5.30 a.m. And then we still went on weekends and we literally loved it so much. And we got into such a good routine. And then obviously it closed, this all happened. So times like this, it's a bit like, right, where do I exercise? How do I do, like get motivated? It's easy just to go to the gym, do work out, get out when you're done. When you're at home, it's so easy just to do a little bit and then go on your sofa and then it is, it is it is so much harder, like so much harder. I personally feel that, and I'm not saying you have to get this, but this is just something that's helped me and I just wanted to share it with you. Um, so I think that's okay. So this is the Fitbit Versa 2, which is the newest one that's come out. Um, it's a lot more affordable than the Apple Watch. And it is basically all based on fitness. So that's the reason that I got it. And it's really good to monitor how many steps you're doing. Um, it's actually, it's gonna be hard to show you. Is that gonna work? Okay, so if you click on, I'll have to come up here and shoot. Um, there's actually like an exercise part here. I don't know if you can see. Um, you click on that and then you can actually monitor your run if you go for a bike ride. Obviously we can't swim. Um, if you've got weights at home that you wanna do, anything like that. And it monitors how many calories you burn, how many steps you do, everything. So if you are looking for that little bit more of motivation just to help you and to monitor how many steps you're doing, calories you're burning each day, all of that kind of stuff, this is really good. Um, Bradley actually asked me to get this for him for his birthday. So um, he knows he's getting it. So I did order him one as well because he was like, oh my God, yours is so good. So yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but it is really worth it. And it does help me stay more active and helps me know how many steps I'm doing. So yeah, it's, ju it's just good to be aware of things like that. So on days where you don't feel like doing your full face of makeup, your full glam, but you still want to feel ready for the day, this is a product that I literally couldn't live without. So on days where I'm literally just doing my fitness, and then I'm like, actually, I don't feel like putting makeup on today. I, all I put on is this By Terry CC Serum. And I actually heard Lydia Millian talking about this ages ago on her channel. And I bought it and safe to say it's incredible. It's actually skincare, but it's got a bit of a slight tint to it. So you put it on your face, you moisturize it in, and it gives you a bit more of like a 
not not a tan but like a glow and a little bit more color to your skin but you look awake and it's just incredible it's not makeup it's skincare and it's just incredible so you need to try this so the next product which actually really helps me on a day-to-day -day basis look at my hair what is going on i literally put this <laughs> throughout the whole day this is the elemis soothing apricot toner so it's a calming facial toner 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 which you can actually pop on cotton pads but i don't i literally just spray it all over my face it really helps to wake me up in the morning sometimes on days where i'm out of bed i'm just like oh can't be bothered for today i spray this on my face i'm not saying it's like magic and i'm like oh my god i'm so happy it just makes me feel more awake and a lot more ready for the day it's that little bit more of a step towards a good day so this honestly really helps it's really refreshing you don't have to get this one you can get any i've actually got a couple that i like to use um i've got the garnier moisture bomb this is really good you do have to spray it from quite far um but i really like this this really helps wake me up and it's got spf 30 in it so if you're in your garden a lot this is great um, so I use that a lot. I also use the Fenty Beauty What It Do. This is makeup refreshing spray. So it's not setting, it's just refreshing. But I always use this before makeup as well as this. And it's just so nice to have a little bit more of, it's like someone's splashing misty water on your face that just smells incredible. So yeah, these really help me. And you guys know I've always been such a fan of facial mists and I feel so good every single time I use them. So yeah, try them because they are great. <laughs> so another thing that I like to use a lot on days where I need a little bit more of a pamper are candles. So this is the Jo Malone Red Roses candle. I haven't burnt it, but I just wanted to show you guys an example. I literally have two Jo Malone candles because I am aware they are really pricey. I actually got this at Vista Village because it was on offer. So and it smells so good. Um, I've got an Olivia Blake one here. And then this one is Cloud9, I think. I got both of them from TK Maxx. I literally miss going to TK Maxx so much. Like, it makes me so sad. As soon as everything's open, I'm heading straight to there. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like cleaning your home, lighting candles at the end of the day, sitting on your sofa, you just feel so good. Even if you've been at home all day, cleaning lighting your candles and then relaxing it just feels like you've had like a long day at work and then you've come home and it's like ah. Oh. so yeah i honestly couldn't recommend lighting candles enough like i literally feel instantly relaxed and just great so yeah this smells so good i literally am afraid to burn it i'm so scared to burn it i know that's not really a beauty product but i just wanted to mention things that make me feel really happy during this time i did want to do a haul i wanted to do like a whole video all on just things to do while you're at home and how to help you get through quarantine life and things like that so if you do want to see that let me know in the comments down below right we've got a couple more products and then we're done <laughs> the next product is this this is the garnier natural bronzer self tan mist you guys know I can't fake to to save my life. Like, I literally can't do it. I can't. And the main places I do want to tan are my face and my chest because that's where I'm actually the most pale, which is weird. Um, so again, on days where I want to feel really good about myself, I, in the evening, I'll have a shower, literally spray this over my face, wake up, and Bradley's like, it literally looks like you've been on holiday. This mist is incredible. They've actually got a body one as well, which is bigger. And I'm really tempted to try it. I feel like it's a good time because if the fake tan goes wrong, no one can see me. So I might, I actually might try that. I think I might try and do a fake tan routine. I've got loads of Summer It's products. So I feel like I might do that. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you do want to see that. Because when I went on their trip, I used a tan on my legs. And it was literally incredible. I hope I've still got that. I really do. I know we're not out and about, but it's still nice to feel luxury. And honestly, I wake up in the mornings after I've sprayed this the night before, and I just feel really good about myself and just feel like I know we're indoors, but it looks like I've been on holiday, so I'll take that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really tempted to purchase the body one as well, um, because I feel like that would work really well. But I always put this on before I go to bed, and then I wake up and I'm tanned. It's great. And I literally put no effort into it. I literally spray my face and it's done. I know we're not out to impress anyone. I'm not saying you need to do it just to go out and impress anyone. But it's more to like make yourself feel better. Obviously we can't go out. So yeah, it's just to make yourself feel better. And it's just that little extra 
self-care and yeah i feel so good every single time i use it. and then the last product i want to show you guys is actually fragrance this is perfume this is definitely my go-to at the moment it's the joe malone rose and magnolia oh my god this smells so good like literally i bathe myself in this like it's so good again i know we're indoors but actually getting ready as if you're going out somewhere putting fragrance on making yourself feel better is just another thing to make this feel slightly more normal if that makes sense and again just to make yourself feel better feel motivated me and bradley were saying like when we get ready to do our <laughs> morning run every morning we actually get ready as if we're going to the gym because we're trying to adjust to this new life at the moment and it is hard but at the same time you sort of have to get on with it and sort of have to learn quickly what to do so yeah using my favorite fragrance every time i get ready and just i just feel good and like happy and fresh and like ah oh, about the day like really clean and good so yeah i love it so yeah like i was saying i'm not saying you need to buy every single one of these products to make you feel better and you might look at them and think what what are you doing <laughs> these aren't good at all but these are just products that i use or things that i do on a daily basis that do help me and just make me feel a little bit more productive motivated positive and yeah i love it like i said i do want to film a video on things to do while you're at home during this time because i know it can be quite hard but yeah like i said these are just beauty products that i use that help me feel really good so like always i will list them for you guys down below i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching i hope it's helped you in any way shape or form let me know in the comments down below and if you've got this far I love you so much <laughs> so thank you and also it would be great if you could write down in the comments down below beauty products that help you during this time I feel like it would be good just to share everyone's beauty products that help them feel a little bit more luxury a little bit more pampered and motivated and positive and all of that good stuff so yeah let's share all of our favorite things that we like to do and I really really hope you guys have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new we are so close to 500k like i literally can't believe it and come and follow me over on amy rose walker and amy rose dot cosmetics because something might be launching quite soon don't know but um yeah hope you guys have enjoyed it and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye